Hey bitches, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. If you're new here, bitch, it's me, Joey, aka Pretty Boy Joey, aka Mr. Seal Your Vato, bitch. Okay, so today for today's video, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm actually pretty excited for this because um, it's gonna be a little fun video. If you don't know and you can't read, bitch, from the title, bitch. It's gonna be questions that straight people are too afraid to ask gay people. And it's gonna be a little bit of a mukbang, bitch. Duh. Today, what I'm gonna be eating is chick motherfucking filet. Which is kind of contradicting because this is a video about gay people. And I'm fucking... And I'm gay. Sorry, I don't know why I had like a little brain fart. And fucking chick filet hates gay people. But yeah, so let me tell y'all what I got. In my order, I always get a Chick-fil-A Deluxe, and then I always ask for ketchup, and then I always get a motherfucking high C. Anyways, bitch, let's get started with this motherfucking mukbang, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Today I ordered a spicy chicken deluxe. I think I already told y'all that. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I want to do like a crazy question, like first, or if I want to do like. A normal question. Um, let's start with a normal question first. Damn, actually, none of these are kind of normal. Okay, how bad does it hurt? Um, how bad does the fact that my family will never accept me for who I am and that, like, everyone hates me? Yeah, that, that hurts really bad. Just kidding, bitch. My family fucking loves me. That's I know that's not what the fuck the question means. Disclaimer, like I said, my family loves me very much. They accept me for who I am. They love me a lot. Okay? Anyone that knows me knows that I just like to troll people. But anyways, how bad does it hurt? I'm assume I'm assume you mean um doing the doing the dirty. At first it'll hurt like a like a bitch. It'll hurt so bad, but I guess you get used to it, whatever. Like I don't want to get too into de detail with that because, like, there's children on this app and I do not want the wrong person to get onto this video. And also, I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube for fucking giving y'all a fucking sex education, bitch. So, go watch something else. Go watch Euphoria about that, bitch. When you see Jewel scream screaming onto that bed, bitch, that's how it feels at first. Just know that's what that... Okay, next question. Does it hurt when you do A-N-A-L? Yes, like I said. It's another question. Same question. Rewind if you skip to this part, bitch. Rewind. Okay, that's your answer for that. And then... Bro, honestly, ustedes no tienen vergüenza. Like, damn, these fucking questions, bro. There's only a couple. Why don't I like Punani? I don't know, honestly. Like, I, to me, it's just not appetizing. Like, it's just not for me, bro, because I'm gay. Like, it's just not it for me. Like, me personally, even though I'm gay, like, I love women. I think women are beautiful creatures, are very beautiful beings. They are great. But it's just not for me. Like, I don't like punani. It doesn't look like a freaking salchicha, so I'm obviously not into it. You know? Right, next question is... When did I realize I was gay? Um... I really... I, I think I knew I was... I guess the question is, when did I accept... I feel like it's more so the question is, when did I accept that I was gay? I feel like for sure, when I was a... Uh, when I was a sophomore in high school I definitely accepted that I was gay like the whole time I always just thought like okay like at worst I can just be bisexual and I just kept trying to tell myself like you're just bisexual like you're not gay you're bisexual even though I was I was very much as gay as they come bitch so yeah I just for sure like kept telling myself like you know you're not gay you're just like just be bisexual like at least like you'll still like girls or whatever more when I was when I was a sophomore in high school, for sure. That's when I accepted the fact that I was gay, bitch. Next question, bitch. 
Am I a top or a bottom? Um, I feel like personally, I'm a verse bottom. If you don't know what that means, just go on Google. I'm not gonna do the whole explaining thing, bitch. No. I get, I'll just explain it, honestly. A verse bottom is someone that mostly bottoms, but gives it sometimes. You get it? You get it. If you don't, search it up, bitch. Search it up. Because I'm not explaining the whole thing. But, yeah, I'm a verse bottom. Um, Because I feel like I mostly always just bottom. No, not like that. Not. It's not like I'm just doing it all the time, I swear. But I, what I meant to say is that, like, I've only really ever, like, bottomed whenever I have done intercourse. Which is almost never, like, dead ass. I'm not even kidding. Like, almost never. So don't fucking try to play on me and try to twist my words, bitches. Okay? Okay, bitch. Y'all, when I tell you guys, it's no fucking coincidence. I love high C so much. Fruit punch because, bitch, I'm a fruitcake. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't care how old I get, bitch. Every single time I go out to eat, bitch, I need me a high C fruit punch. Next question is, who is the guy in the relationship? Um, I feel like, honestly, a lot of gay people get this question all the time. I don't think there's necessarily... A guy in the relationship i guess it's more so like who's the most dominant if that makes sense or i don't know i don't think there's a guy in the relationship i feel like i feel like for sure if that was a thing i would definitely be the girl in the relationship because i feel like girls mandan in su relationship and then like in chinga y toxicas like not to say that i'm toxic or anything like that but I feel like for sure I'm the girl in the relationship even though like yo mando la chingada like bitch this is the fuck i want you better fucking do it even though I've never been even though I've never been in a relationship, I guess I would probably think I'm the girl. Honestly, that's just my personal opinion. My personal opinion, okay? Bro, some of these questions. When y'all are having B U T T S E S three X and y'all C U M, does it come out of your dum dum or your bum bottom? Bitch, I did not think I would have to teach basic anatomy, bitch. No. As far as I know, or as far as I'm concerned, it does not come out of our butt. <coughs> I've never had some... I mean, I know men have, like, a G-spot in their butthole. Like, me personally, I've never had someone, I guess, hit a, the G-spot. I mean, just because I don't have that much experience. So, I don't know. I mean, no, I've only ever CUM'd from my dun dun, dun you know? No, I don't know. I don't think that's a thing. As far as I know, I don't think that's a thing. Like, unless some fucking doctor comes on here and says, bitch, that is a thing, I don't know if it's a thing. So, no, I guess you, I guess you come out of your, you know, dun dun, dun. So, there's your answer for that. Next question, how does it feel to come out? <coughs> I think my voice cracked right there. Ignore that, y'all. It feels great to come out, honestly. Like, for sure, it feels very relieving to come out. Like, it's a hard thing to do, even though, like, everyone in my family knew that I was gay, except for, like, I think my dad, and which is strange. Well, not, like, people thought, like, oh, your dad didn't, like, really think that you were gay. I was like... Like, everyone is surprised that my dad was surprised that I was gay. And the reason he was so surprised is because growing up, like, me and him, we weren't really close. I wouldn't really talk to my dad. Like, if it was just us two, I wouldn't really talk to him because we had our own issues. That's not for this video. But, yeah, for sure, it feels great to come out. It feels like a weight off your shoulders. Even though I'm not, like, even though I'm so depressed, bitch. Um, for sure, I feel better. I feel so much... It just feels great to be yourself without, like, holding back, if that makes sense. For sure, it just feels amazing. Definitely. Top tier, amazing. Okay, last but final question. Was or is your family accepting of it? <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, so thankfully, I will say, I felt like for sure, me personally, I honestly didn't really, like, when I was really figuring out my sexuality, I was really worried about it. Yes, they do accept me. They love me for who I am. Although I will say, I do notice some people that make strange ass faces whenever they're around me. I'm not going to sit here and talk about it though because I don't want motherfuckers to start like throwing hints and shit and like trying to be like, oh, who the fuck are you talking about? I'm whatever the shoe fits, bitch. It fits whoever the fuck it does. If the shoe fits, just wear it. <clears throat> but I do notice that some people when I'm around them, they make certain faces, and I'm I'm very much someone that one that I peep a lot of stuff. I notice a lot of things. I don't say anything because to me, I don't see a reason to say anything because, bitch, I'm not about to like like waste energy on someone that I don't really give a fuck about. And like for sure, I just honestly didn't really give a fuck. Like when I came out, I didn't care who accepted it or who didn't. Like I really didn't care. And I was thankful that most of my friends did accept me for who I am. Well, all of my friends accepted me for who I am. And, yeah, I didn't really give a fuck who, who was going to accept me or who wasn't, bitch. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be by yourself when you die, okay? Of course, I was hoping that people were going to accept me for who I was. But I also knew, like, not everyone's going to fuck with you because of it. And it is what it is. Even though a lot of people were still fucking with me because um, everyone knew I was gay already. So, they were going to be cool with me. Either or, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. So, it felt great to come out. And most of my family is really accepting. My family loves me. Um, shout out to my dad. Shout out to my mom. My sister and my brother for loving me for who I am. And, yeah. So, that is it for today, you guys. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see from me. This was my first mukbang and first ever, I guess, Q&A technically i guess and yeah so if you guys have any other ideas let me know what else you guys want to see from me in the comments make sure you guys go follow me at my social medias they're in my intro if you decided to skip through that bitch okay make sure you go back and follow me okay but yeah see you guys later bitches